Good evening, gentlemen. Both of you were given your instructions in the dressing room. Both of you touch gloves. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. The back. I'll leave it with you. Well, Fra <laughs> referee get Frank Cappuccino trying to get the fighters to have a cordial beginning. And uh, had a little bit of problems here. And I uh, wonder if Frank's going to be able to keep control of this fight. He's a small man, and both guys are 1-6-4, uh, 1-6-5. Already has his work cut out for him in the first bell as it runs. Look at the legs on Maverick. Not that big. Round number one was scheduled for 12, and I think it would be an understatement, Tony, to say how important this first round is for Maravik. He's got to last it. He's got to establish something, and he can't let Lewis get into his rhythm. Maravik has punching power. He's got 22 knockouts in his 27 wins. They haven't come against household names. Lewis, of course, has big punching power, 27 knockouts in his 33 wins, and they've come against big names like Razor Ruddick, Cannon Briggs, and Andrew Galata. Lewis trying to establish that right hand by throwing the left jab. Everett coming in a little wide when he throws his punches. Very characteristic, though. I've seen him many times before. He looks exactly as now as the Perhaps even a little more aggressive for this first round. Maravik not necessarily a fast starter. Lewis has to keep working his jab. Maverick has to see if he can establish his. Lewis actually shown him a little bit of respect here. Probably a little surprised by the aggression this early by Maravik. Might have thought that Maravik would show him a little bit more respect. Our conference call with Lennox Lewis this week. He said it was important to him to look impressive because Holyfield didn't look impressive in his fight with Vaughn Bean. Frank Cappuccino already in, having to separate the fighters this early on. Definitely a, a match of the hairstyles here too, Tony. First down and Briggs, now this. Lewis with a nice short right hand inside, but nothing happens. Lewis establishing the jab here early on. Maravik is coming over the top with the right hand. He's under a minute to go here in round number one. Not a bad round thus far for the challenge is Elko Maravik. Lewis is popping that left right down the middle. Maravik hands a little wide. Maverick with straight shots down the middle, which is just closed a little bit. Lewis looking very tentative right now, but Maravick beating him to the punch and coming in, drops the right hand over the top, 30 seconds to go. Round one was scheduled for 12, Arnie Sophia raises the ball along with Tony Page. Maverick threw that right hand, looked like Shade the valve on the ball for a minute. Yes, missed it. Still trying to load up on that right hand. Delco Maravich showing a lot of confidence for a challenger coming in for the first shot at the heavyweight championship of the world. And perhaps all those years of work has paid off, Tony. And stay snapping with your shots on the point. Stay snapping with your shots on the point. In the middle, come back with a hook gun. Emmanuel Stewart seems to be concerned as we begin round number two here, Tony, with Lennox Lewis dropping his right hand. Emmanuel never liked this opponent for him. He thought the styles didn't work. But he's right, though. Maverick's trying to throw the overhand right. They probably watched a lot of tape of him against uh, Oliver McCall with his overhand right. I wonder if Maverick keeps his eyes open. Well, they avoided the mandatory defense against Maravik for a year, and Maravik sat very patiently. He didn't take a fight for a year right now. The one-year layoff doesn't appear to be bothering Maravik at all. No rust. As you said, he's, he's being a little more aggressive. He's coming forward right now. Lewis should be pumping that left jab. Maybe Maravich trying to time his right over Lewis's left. Maravich, a prohibitive underdog coming into this fight from casinos as, as high as 21 underdog. You know, Buster, Buster Douglas is only 40, 41 against Tyson. <laughs> 
no body shots in this fight so far. Oh, you, you think Lewis would throw a nice left to the body? Well, I think both fighters at this point are respecting each other's punching power. And go downstairs, something's going to be left open. Lewis has thrown a couple of rights to the body, but you're right, he's tentative. I don't know why. Maybe he just doesn't see the opening yet. I haven't seen the close of hands to go closer together. Not leaving such a wide target right down the middle. Lewis keeping that left hand very low after throwing the jab. Arabic has a devastating right hand when he comes over the top. I was expecting a little more out of Lennox Lewis. I expected more left dead. Not establishing the jab at all. Very slow, his hand speed doesn't look real good. There's that right over the top by Maravich. Got another one. Right over the top. Got another, and Lewis is keeping those hands down, which is not smart. Maravich, 22 knockouts in his 27 wins. Coming in today at only 214 pounds, in spite of the fact that he's got a 6'4 frame. Lennox Lewis, 6'5", and he's weight over 240 pounds. Maverick dropping both of his hands and just standing in front of Lennox Lewis, daring him to hit him. And Lewis, when he throws punches, is going to the body, not to the head, even when he drops his guard. Well, Tony, you and I were talking about this fight earlier, and the one comment I was always able to make about Maravick, not great boxing skills in my opinion, Fair, fairly good puncher, obviously, but I knew he had a good fear. I've seen him hit, and I've seen him be able to take good shots. Having never been knocked out, he doesn't have a fear of KOs. And like you said, certainly not intimidated by Lennox Lewis here. Not at all. First two rounds, or Lewis's punching power. You okay? It's an awesome when he make you move, Joe. Make him move. He's carrying about 250 pounds around. Him. You're doing very well, all very right. well. Hands up, covers, make him move. We talked about that low left. Watch these rights over the top by Zelko Maravich, and Lennox doesn't lose, learn his lesson. He sits there and wide open for those right hands again. He tried to roll his shoulder into the first one, but that second one got through. That's not a good sign when he was against the ropes. He kept his hands down instead of protecting himself. Darkie Smith telling Zelko Maravich in three rounds that he thinks Lewis is getting tired already, that he's carrying too much weight around. And I've never liked Lennox Lewis at 240 plus pounds, Tony. I thought he's had much better days at, at lighter weight. Yeah, under, you know, 230 is, is, I think, is pretty good for Lewis. Matt Maravich right now still uh, not scared of Lennox Lewis. He's throwing punches. Lewis coming in tonight, 200. 43 Something I, I don't like about Lewis's makeup right now. When he brings his left hand up from his, off his hip, it's very slow. It's not bringing up to protect himself. Very tentative about throwing that jab right now also. Lewis is sitting out there. And Tony, we hadn't had a chance to talk. How'd you score the first two rounds? I haven't even. I gave Lewis the first round, Maravich the second. I've got to tell you, I gave both to Maravich, and I've got him up 20 to 18. Certainly the first round was closer than the second. But I think if Lewis doesn't establish a jab, it's going to be a very long night for him. Trying to remind me of the Oliver McCall fight. He just seemed to take his time instead of getting the job done, and he wound up getting knocked out. First time I've seen Lewis go to the body, tries to jab downstairs to Maravich. Doesn't seem to be intimidated by it. Didn't bring his hands down, and referee Frank Cappuccino separating the fighters for perhaps only the third time thus far in the fight. Warns both fighters to watch out for their heads as they immediately go into another clinch. And there's a big welt underneath the right eye of Zelko Maravich. Fortunately, he's got veteran British top man Denny Mancini in his corner. Al Gavin. What's puzzling to me is Maravich is just walking into Lewis and throwing that overhand right, and Lewis is letting him walk in. No solid left there. There was two, but he hasn't done that in a while. Lewis not being busy, 
Should be working the body a little bit. Well, I think it's been a while since he's fought a fighter that's coming forward and making him fight going backwards. And Lennox Lewis does not fight well moving backwards, Tony. Never. Like, this is very reminiscent to me in a lot of ways to the, what happened in the Mercer fight. Mercer kept moving forward and Lennox Lewis had his hands full all night. And again, there's that overhand right. Lewis's eyes are starting to get wide every time that right hand comes like he doesn't know how to get out of the way of it. Come near the end of round number three. Another excellent round for the challenger, Zelko Maravich. And will the balance of power be shifted in the heavyweight division if Maravich could ever pull an upset tonight? Maverick is showing some game in there. He's throwing, he's countering that left there by uh, Lewis, trying to throw that right hand again and again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Red Round number four was scheduled for 12, and Lewis comes out. Perhaps the most aggressive he's been thus far in the fight, and Manny Stewart gave him a nice wake-up call between rounds. Let's see what sort of an effect. Cappuccino gives him a warning for holding and hitting. Nice uppercut by Lennox Lewis. Maravich gets caught with an uppercut inside, and all of a sudden, it's a whole different game for Maravich. And he's having his way through rounds one and three. Like Lewis has finally got out of his funk and is starting to pick up his offense. But he's got to get off first. Nice left jab by Lewis. Got to keep throwing punches. Now Lewis coming over the top with the right hand. And he's Maravich back paddling and Lewis fighting going forward. And what a difference it makes for Lewis if he's moving in. Very effective. Hard for a lot of fighters to, to be effective going backwards. See Harold Knight in Lennox Lewis's corner tell him, come forward, come forward. We pick that up, it's about a nice body shot. Lewis goes downstairs again. Maravich on the inside. Lewis seems control in control, but when he stops, he gives Maravich a chance to get in there. Let's remind everybody again, though, Lewis carried around 243 pounds today. Maravich came in at 214, which was considered light for him. One fighter perhaps too heavy, one fighter perhaps too light. Another warning from Cappuccino about holding behind the head. Nice uppercut on in close by Lennox Lewis. That seems to be his punch right now. Not the right hand, but the right uppercut. And that jab given Maravich fits. Lewis has finally found the range. Comes over the top of the right hand again as Maravich dropping his left hand. Body shots starting to take their toll on Maravich. Lennox Lewis really turning this fight around here in round number four, under a minute to go. Bill Lewis is throwing that left jab from his, from his waist, and he should be trying to bring it up as Maravich goes to the body. Overhand right again, though, for Maravich. The one thing Lewis hasn't directed thus far in the fight is he continues to drop that left hand. If he keeps the jab busy, it's a moot point. But as soon as he stops Tony, like you said, that gives Maravich the opportunity to come over the top. Stop. Beat to the punch. Break. Maravich keeps throwing that right hand. After a while, you figure Lewis, would, he tries to roll his shoulder with it, but that's taking a chance. If you're slow with it, you get caught. That's trademark Kronk fighter. He's got Emmanuel Stewart in his corner. Yep. And the longer Manuel is going to be with him, the longer that left hand is going to dangle down by his side. Here we see Maverick coming forward and Lewis with that great, good left uppercut. I mean, right uppercut. Just, just got him on the grace, raise him on the chin. Did you notice, though, how he held on to the back of Maravich's head when he threw it? And he's gotten two warnings already from referee Cappuccino for doing that. Let's go, Blue There's that right hand. I mean, is that, uh, is he setting a trap for Lennox Lewis that uh, Lewis is not avoiding? Round number five, no knockdowns thus far in the fight. First three rounds. All Zelko Maravich, fourth round, big round for Lennox Lewis as he established the jab and started fighting, moving forward instead of moving backwards. You expect, you expect so much more out of Lennox Lewis. You can see where he should be throwing that jab repeatedly, but he's, he's not. Maravich corner between rounds wants more head motion from him. Not such a standard target, standing target for the left jab of Lewis. Stop! Stop! Break! Let him out! Let him out! Tony's 
Maurice has been successful when he's gone downstairs and done some body work on Maravich. And the only problem is when he comes in, he's wide open on the right side. He should be trying, left side. He should be trying to go to the body every once in a while, especially when he's an inside. But he's not a Lewis has never been an inside fighter. He can do some damage, but mainly it's outside work for him. Nice inside right hand by Leonard. guys holding in there, leaning on each other. That's that extra 30 pounds might come ahead handy for Lennox. Right, right. That's a toss-up depending on how far this fight goes, Tony. Maravich's got to have him flip him around the ring a little bit, but on the other side of the coin, we get into the late rounds, and that weight's going to be a factor on Lewis. Jab yeah, really giving a hard time right now to Maravich. Oh, Lewis very sharp now all of a sudden on the jab. You wonder though why he doesn't follow with the right hand. I think he's wondering about being countered. I think Maverick is waiting to throw that overhand right again as Lewis starts to open up. Break, break. Under a minute to go in round number five. Nice body shot again by Lennox Lewis. Tried to throw the uppercut. One thing about Maverick, he knows how to hold when he's either hurt or not in a position to fight back. And the body work may be the ticket here right now. Stop! Stop! Wait! Wait! Welt under the eye of Maravich getting a lot bigger under the right eye. Lennox Lewis really starting to have his way and just being able to push Maravich all over the ring and use that 30-pound weight advantage. Frank Cappuccino having his hands full now as Maravich really starting to clutch on as we come near the end of round number five. Real take control round for champion Lennox Lewis. Just missed the uppercut. Good round for Lewis. Round five action, big uppercut by Lennox Lewis. Let's go, and, Blue Corner! And Tony, the Let's body go, work Red here Corner. is really Stand what starts board. to take All its toll as well on Zelda Maravich. That's what he needs to do because there's not a lot of weight on Maravich at 214. Throw the body is going to hurt that much more. Lewis seems to be picking up the pace again now. Well, in between rounds, Emmanuel Stewart said, point blank, Zelda Maravich cannot counterpunch. All you got to do is move forward and this fight is yours. Nice three-punch combination by Lewis. And a left uppercut, first time we've seen that thus far in the fight. Power shots by Lennox Lewis right now. Maverick not returning in fire. I think the fifth round gave total confidence to Lennox Lewis that he can control Maravich right now and try to push him around. Establish oh. the that right uppercut buckles the knees of Maravich. Put him on a point of the chin with that one. Stop! Break! I don't think Break. Lewis is overconfident. He's just confident he can take him out of there, but you still got to be careful. Stop! Break! Frank Cappuccino having his hands full there as the fighters fighting at close quarters and starting to grasp onto each other. Maravich, he drives him up the track. Not the same reaction. Stop holding! Lennox Lewis fighting with his mouth open Stop. right now, though, Tony, he's only six rounds. Trying to stay busy, keep throwing punches, good shot by Lewis. Maravich now trying to throw desperation right over the top. Lewis staying too busy. Got to keep throwing those punches, you can't give Maverick a chance to get in there. It's the longest Lewis has been since his fight with Ray Mercer back in May of 1996. Of course, he's been active this year. He won in March over Shannon Briggs with a fifth-round knockout. Maravich hasn't fought in a year. His last fight coming last October against Vincenzo Cantatore, and that only won four rounds. Lewis stalking Maravich right now. 
Lennox can't fight moving backwards Stop. either, Tony. Break. You got him Break. against the ropes, but that you figured Lennox would open up because he's got nowhere to go. Lennox exerted a lot the first 60 seconds of this round, leaving both arms dangling at his side right now. Seems to be taking off the second half of this round, and Maravich's not making him pay for it. Lewis is skating to an easy 10-9 round here. Lewis starting to show a little bit, but he shouldn't be doing it. Fight's not over yet. Well, I'm sure Emmanuel Stewart will have something to say about the showboating. <laughs> I'm sure. Lennox Lewis trying to set up Maravich with that left. It just comes on and then keeps firing the right hand. Good left uppercut right on the chin. And Lewis surprised me with that left uppercut. I didn't know that was in his arsenal. He's thrown right uppercuts. And Maravich comes out winging here at the beginning of round number seven. Got to keep throwing punches. Continues to not be intimidated and showing a lot of heart. Stop. Break. I got it 58-56 halfway through the fight for Lewis. I've got it dead even at the end of six, but certainly the momentum has shifted big time towards Break. Lennox Lewis. Break. Well, let's see if Ma Zelko Maravich has derailed uh, the latest Lennox Lewis Express here. Maravich showing some lateral motion right now, trying to get oh. away, but gets caught with that right uppercut again. You're right. You said he has a beard. He can take the shot. If I'm Lennox Lewis, Break. you hit him with your best Step shot to the head, Break. and you go to the body, see what he's got there. Let him go, Lennox. Let him go. And if I believe what referee Frank Cappuccino is saying, it's Lennox Lewis holding on the inside. Maravich now trying to throw some uppercuts of his own. Doesn't seem to have the same power as Lennox Lewis. No, and the jab is futile on the part of, of Maravich. Break. Step back. Step back. Doesn't have the reach to land it properly. And one on the outside is not going to do it anyway. Stop! Break! Well, he's just healing him right now. Halfway gone in round number seven. This, of course, is scheduled for 12 for Lewis's WBC heavyweight crown. Lewis now going back to the jab. I think you got to credit the jab, which he really started to use in round number four, so he is turning this fight around. I guess maybe I'm setting the bar kind of high for Lennox. I expect him to do more because he has the skills. But if you don't throw the punch, you wonder what's the problem. The opening seems to be there. Maverick is right oh, the left hand by Maravich catches Lewis coming in. Lewis shows a smile on his face. But he's not firing back, if you notice. Maravich dropping a right uppercut on inside. Oh, and another big shot by Maravich, and Lewis drops back against the ropes. He better do something to keep Maravich off him like an uppercut. 40 seconds to go here in round number seven as Maravich really trying to tee off on Lewis. Lewis not grabbing. Big comeback round here for Zelko Maravich. I haven't seen this many uppercuts flow in one fight. I can't tell you. Oh! Back comes Lewis, catches big right hand with his hands down. What a round. Maverick looks like he might be out on his feet. Ten seconds to go. Stop, stop, stop. Break. What a swing here. Lewis comes firing back at Zelko Maravich. And here we go, the end of round number seven. But Getting you can it certainly it. tell from the punching power perspective, Maravich probably took about 10 or 12 punches to really hurt Lennox Lewis and get him against the ropes. One two-punch combination turned that round almost around 180 degrees, though, for Lewis. As we take a look at action here from round number seven, a big round for Zelko Maravich. Here comes Lennox Lewis, Lewis back. flying back there. This might be a very fun round. Both fighters' confidence level up here as we go into round number eight. Unofficially on my scorecard, Tony, 67-66, Zelko Maravich. How do you see it? 67-66, Lennox Lewis. Either way, very close fight. No knockdowns thus far in the fight. Lennox Lewis, the world champion. He's in the 
White shorts, the red stripes, Elko Maravich in the pure white and the mohawk haircut. He tries to throw up a cut every once in a while, takes good shots from Lennox, not going anywhere, not yet anyway. If I had a criticism of the uppercut, is he's landing the uppercut and he's not following up with anything. Not at all. You would think the right uppercut, the left hook should be the next punch. Yeah. But he's trying for that one punch knockout, because as you rightfully pointed out, that was dropping Shannon Briggs. Yeah. I wonder how frustrated you get that to keep hitting guys with what you know is your best shot. The guy's not bleeding, he's not blowing up, he's not going anywhere, and he keeps throwing punches. Round number nine of a schedule of 12, no knockdown surprisingly in the fight. Both fighters have been hurt. Seventh round in particular. Good eighth round though for the champion Lewis, and Lewis moving forward right now and backing up Maravich. Lined up with those right hands to the body. But you know, Tony, I would like to see him, not necessarily because I'm rooting for him and I'm rooting for him, but if I'm, in, if I'm advising Lennis Lewis, you throw that right to the body, come upstairs with something yeah. afterwards. Try and throw a combination, which we haven't seen too much in this fight. Lewis not throwing his damn, what's he waiting for? There's an opening, throw it down the middle. Nice right down the right hand by Velcro. Lewis holding on once Zelko gets on the inside. Nice semi hook left uppercut by Zelko Maravich from the outside. Surprises Lewis. If you didn't know boxing, you gotta wonder who's the real champ in here. Lewis has been successful throughout the fight when he moves forward. Oh, right oh, right oh, right. Frank Cappuccino, let's see if he gives a warning. He was on the wrong side. Not a good time to have a point taken away, and he did see it. Wonder why he didn't ask Maravich if he's all right. Yeah, Tony, unofficially, I got a 
tell you, at the end of eight, I have this fight dead even, 76-76, and I know you've got a fairly close as well. You got Lewis up by two, but this is going to be a tough one to score. Not a time to have a point taken away. Lewis now is getting up on his toes, working that jab, doubles the jab. All right, stop. Stop. Everett seems to have his second win right now. Lewis breathing very heavily through his mouth. Stop. Trying stop. to bounce Break. off the rope. The rope Break. the red Break. leverage. And content to time Arabic up when he comes in rather than go back to work in the uppercut in the body. 30 seconds to go in round number nine. Is a schedule for 12. How many people thought we'd be here this late? Oh, nice one too by Lewis. Still coming back with that right hand. Velko <laughs> Maravich trying to get back into round number nine, pushing Lewis back, but I'd have to say that it was a very strong round for Lennox Lewis, and we take a look now at that low blow, Frank Cappuccino warning Lewis, watch the left, literally Little. below the belt. Yeah. You know, the winner of a round gets 10, the loser gets 9. These Keep are almost pushing like him back. 10 to 9.5 rounds. He was so close. I gave him the last round to Lewis, I'm up by 3 points, but it's, it's tight. I've got an 86-85, Lennox Lewis the champion, coming here into round number 10. Emmanuel Stewart conceding to his fighter that he's tired, but he's fighting like a champion because he's fighting tired. Uh, I guess it would ever work. I'd like to see Maverick just step back and throw a right hand. Well, he got the step back part. <laughs> he's certainly fighting in retreat right now in round number 10. Interestingly enough, for our two major heavyweight champions, Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, both have defended their title against mandatory opponents within the last week to 10 days. And not neither one of them looking very impressive against opponents that everybody thought were going to be out of there in four rounds or less. Well, you can't get the chance in the ring. Maybe if uh, Maverick loses, you try and make Dean and Maverick. <laughs> Once again, he breaks the uppercut, Tony came back with nothing, and he chose to clutch instead. Minute gone by in round number 10. Maverick is still there. I think it's safe to say Maverick's stock has gone up a, a bit. Right over the top by Lewis. Lewis looking very off balance right now and a little shaky. Never, footwork was never his strong suit. And you would think if Maverick would press the action, come forward, right, that's when it's Lewis off balance. Lewis is missing with the jab now. Maravich all of a sudden is... I don't know, again, hit nice over, and he throws that right over the top. Look where Lewis's hands are. Lewis having trouble keeping his hands up. He's fighting going backwards now. Over a minute to go in round number Lewis, 10. Lewis is very slow right now. He didn't come off the rope. Lewis all of a sudden throwing no shots whatsoever. Old veteran trick when you get hurt, you start bouncing on your feet to try and get some circulation in your leg. Maybe that's what Lewis is doing. He's not throwing his right hand at all. You have to wonder if he's hurt his right hand in the fight. Lewis very tired, Tony. Mouth wide open. Uh, 30 seconds to go in this round. Lewis trying to win it though with one hand. I think there's something wrong with that right. He throws a lunging right downstairs. Doesn't want to throw it against Maravich's head though. A good sign of a hurt right hand is when you only want to throw it to the body where it's softer. But he needs to be hurt. There he went to the head that time. I just think Maravich's starting to do a little damage. Maravich though not taking as much advantage as you would think though right now. Nice right hand. Good right hand by Velko Maverick. Right on the button. And what do we have to say? We've been talking about Zelko Maravich's beard. What about Glenick Lewis taking that shot? 
Takes a good set. The one uh, back in the uh, seventh round when Lewis really was hurt, he staggered to the ropes, but he took the uh, average best shot. And this is the longest that Lennox Lewis has been since the Ray Mercer fight back in May of 96. That was the full 10. It's the first time he's seen round 11 since 1993 against Tony Tucker. A long time ago. I was at that fight many years ago. As was I. Last time that Maravich been this deep was against Christoph Brazil in their rematch in April of 96, and that went the full 12 rounds. This fight is up for grabs on it. It's, it's so tight, you never know what the, what the judges are, are thinking when they're writing their scorecards down. And whoever wants it, you got two rounds to do it. Well, speaking of scorecards, how do you have it at the end of 10, Tony Page? 96, 94, Lewis. I've got it dead even, 96, 96. I wouldn't argue with that. to fight short punches on the inside. Lennox Lewis footwork looks really bad right now. He's having a hard time bouncing off the rope. I think he got rocked right there by Maravich with that right hand, and it was another one. Stop! Stop! Break. What happened to Lennox Lewis offense? I think the bigger question is what's happened to Lennox Lewis. Oh, are we underplaying the... Uh, the ability is off of Maravich. Maravich doing his best in there. Lewis trying to come back with that uppercut again. Again, as you pointed out, no follow-up to it. We're in the championship rounds here. And Maravich having a pretty good round number 11. Both guys trading right hands right now, but it seems like Maravich is beating him to the punch. Oh, nice shot inside! Let's keep it straight. Oh, oh it in. Cappuccino, though, giving a little bit of a breather time there for Lenny Lewis. And we're getting word here that for some reason there's something wrong with the eyesight of Lennox Lewis, supposedly. His car said something. Well, certainly not hurting him right now as he's moving forward. On Zelko Maravich. The accuracy about whether there's something wrong with his vision or not. And after having a very good two and a half minutes of round number 11, Lennox Lewis really now trying to take control over Zelko Maravich. Oh! Big right uppercut from the outside. That wins the round for him, I think. Lewis coming back strong here near the end of round number 11. A round that at least a my score card he desperately needs. Delco Maravich's fiance, very concerned at this point about the destiny of her man, Delco Maravich. Why is it Lewis off his stool? I heard the bell. Heard the bell. bell. Referee Frank Cappuccino could have the fighters touch gloves here, very hesitantly both do. As we start the 12th and final round, Lennox Lewis, WBC champion, Delco Maravich, no knockdowns in the fight. Both fighters hurt, both fighters using right hands and uppercut. A very seesaw battle, first three rounds, all Zelko Maravich. Next three, all three Lennox Lewis. And it's been back and forth since then, unofficially going into round 12. Tony, I got a 106-105 Lennox Lewis. Good part. Lewis up by three, 106-103, but he's not doing anything right now. You know, it's, it's, I wonder if something is wrong. Nice uppercut by Lewis. Zelko took Delco should be a little bit busier, but yeah, you know, I get the feeling this is a 15 rounder, but this is the last round for this fight. And what about the frustration on the part of Lewis, where he's used to hitting people with shots like this and see them fall like timber? Then you just keep throwing punches. Sooner or later, somebody takes your punches. You can't get frustrated. You got to keep throwing. Stop. And I think Stop. Lewis is frustrated. I mean, think of the people that he's put away with his punching power. Frank Bruno, Razor Ruddick in two rounds, something Mike Tyson couldn't do over 12. Andrew Galata in one, Shannon Briggs in five, and here we are in round number 12 with a very close fight against Zelko Maravich, who's taking the best shots from Lennox Lewis. If there's any criticism, it's that Lewis hasn't thrown punches and punches, though. Now, whenever he's like Maravich, it's been with one big uppercut or perhaps a left-right combination, Tony. 
You start comparing him to Evander Holyfield that throws a lot of punches. Here comes Maverick trying to pull this out. Lennox stays in the corner. Good shot by Maverick. Is this performance enough to have uh, Evander Holyfield perhaps drop his price back down to 20 million? I hope they don't fight this guy. That's what the sport needs. Maybe Evander fights Maravich. <laughs> and maybe we don't have the fight scored properly and uh, Evander might be fighting Maravich for a unification. Nice right hand by Lewis. 20 seconds to go in the fight. And what was that by Lewis? He dipped, kicked his leg back and then threw a punch. Anything that works, I think, at this point. Maravich trying to chase him now. I think senses that probably he needs a knockout on the scorecards to win this fight. But it's very close. Perhaps a strong 12th round would have done it. It seems to take a little oh, too long. Oh, a big left-right combination to, to certainly punctuate the win here for Lennox Lewis if, in fact, he's won this fight. Seems to have split decision written all over it. Majority decision. Something controversial. Tony had to see it. 116, 112, Lennox Lewis. And I've got a 116, 114, Lennox Lewis. Can't wait to hear the interview because Lennox wonder if something was wrong with him. But again, if something was wrong with him, it might be Zelko Maravich. Excuse me, a correction though on my score uh -huh. for those counting at home. I've got it 115, 114 for Lennox Lewis. As he could have been. Here's Michael Buffer. Here at the Mohegan Sun Casino, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. Tommy Kazmarek has it 119 to 109. What? Bob Logie scores it 117 to 112. And Francesco Cimale scores it 117 to 111 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Ooh.